Javad is here and in this video we are going to learn how to edit our IFC wires very easily and efficiently. Uh, in this video we are going to use IFC Toolbox which is a great tool and free tool uh, that has been developed with, great, uh, with this great man that you are seeing on the screen and in, with this uh, great tool you can optimize, anonymize, merge, split your IFC files very easily and it will help you and your, it will help you and your, uh, your organization and your firm to move faster to open beam standards environment. Okay, first of all, let's see how we can uh, download IFC toolbox. Uh, you, want, you just need to open your Microsoft Store and search for IFC in here and you will have the IFC toolbox here and also you can download it from their website as too but uh, downloading uh, the software from Microsoft Store, I think it's the easiest way to uh, download this software. As you can see, I have a, a file in here that you are seeing it, uh, that I've opened this with uh, Beam Vision, which is a, a great and free IFC viewer, and also you can use this software for viewing it too. But let's use this uh, IFC and let's open IFC toolbox and let's do some uh, modification. As you can see, first of all, I need to say I love the UI design and it is much uh, more friendly in comparison with some uh, in the uh, developer software. So uh, there is a big point in, uh, for them in this part. And then, for example, you can optimize your IFC, you can relocate your IFC, you can split it, you can uh, convert it to different softwares. I'm going to test uh, two of these uh, uh, two of these uh, tools for you uh, because uh, all of them are really uh, easy to use and this video is just a little bit introduction to this great software. Let's go to the, for example, IFC splitter and let's uh, bring our IFC files in here and then it takes a little bit to process your IFC files. It uh, depends on your IFC file, and then you uh, you, are, uh, you are able to split your files to different files. It will be too helpful in bigger projects. For example, they will give you a big IFC file, but for example, you don't have the resource or you want to make it more portable, so you will split it by levels, split it by object category, and you will have all of these options at the same time. For example, let's select on a splitter by level and it will show you all of the levels that you have in project and then uh, it is really easy to just select your uh, levels that you want to uh, split your files according to it or you can click on all of the levels uh, it is sometimes helpful to select your level for example you have some unnecessary levels that you don't want to split files in that uh, level so but for this file i'm going to uh, use all of the uh, levels and then you will have some uh, other options here. You will have site placeholder, building placeholder, and level place placeholder. And then here you will have uh, other parts that you can uh, read it and assign it very easily. And also you can see it supports, uh, we can say, all of the IFC formats, uh, IFC schemas. Then you need to click on uh, split IFC and you need to wait and then you will have multiple IFC files uh, according to the levels. For example, let's wait and see the results. You can see our uh, uh, splitting process has finished and then you will have this uh, a list of files that is software has been created for you according to the levels that you've selected. And then you need to click on save files you need to assign a place for it. Let me save it on my desktop and let's put it on. Let's uh, create a folder too. This is better to keep them on folder. Let me name it IFC split. And then that's great. Click on select folder and it will save all of these IFC files in this folder. Yeah, and you have uh, all of the IFC files according to the level. For example, let's open one of them. In Beam Vision uh, Viewer, which is, a, as I said, it's a great and free IFC viewer for your project. As you can see, you will have uh, this uh, 
IFC file uh, according to that level that you've opened the file and also you have you'll have all of the uh, separate all of the files at the same time and they are much uh, more uh, much more uh, lighter and it will be uh, too easy to work with them in comparison with the large file okay that was for the uh, splitting process and let's do a uh, convert process too and for example I have a IFC converter for example let me bring uh, my IFC file again and also you can access to these files on my Patreon page, you can check that too. And also if uh, this video has been helpful so far, please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Okay, let's go back to the uh, tutorial. As you can see, we can uh, convert our IFC file to OBJ to uh, DAE, which is a Lumion file. You have a step file, you have all of the uh, standard files here. For example, let me convert this IFC file I uh, don't want to, we can uh, filter them, but I don't want to filter by IFC type. Um, let's uh, use uh, element uh, guide to uh, make sure that we are uh, naming it correct. And also you can use coordinate system uh, that, uh, too, but this is not a coordinate uh, IFC file, so I'm just going to convert this IFC to an OBJ file. Let me convert it and you need to wait until the f until that your uh, conversion process that are, that's gonna finish. As you can see, uh, our conversion process has finished and now we will have an OBJ file that we can, uh, we will have an OBJ file that we will, will we can use it in uh, other 3D softwares that only uh, support uh, OBJ instead of IFC for example, you can uh, export it to uh, other softwares that only support uh, OBJ. Uh, it is a really great tool and it is so uh, useful and it is free, so uh, that makes it much better. Uh, it is, uh, we can say it is um, uh, really good that it could be a paid tool too, but we are so thankful to the development team that they are helping us to move to all, 